Hey guys, this is Justin. Uh, this is day two of my 20 day um, video challenge that I'm making for myself and I'm challenging myself to stick to my rules that I've set out for myself for this month and um, making a video every day to try and you know keep me honest and see how, see how I'm progressing. Um, the rules that I've set for myself um, are to take only ORBs and reversals and uh, also to not take profits too early. Um, I think that's what's keeping me from um, being more successful than I want to be. Uh, so let's start with uh, TJX today. Um, I've been having great success with the, this reversal strategy and the strategy basically is if you know the stock in the in pre-market is above VWAP and uh, it decides it's gonna you know test VWAP pre-market or I'm um, um, in the first five minutes and then it you know kind of comes over the line or over VWAP I, I think that I like riding this I, I think of it as momentum I like riding this momentum through VWAP and um, as it's crossing over uh, buying it and using VWAP as my my stop loss um, I've had really good success with this um, you are you know obviously you don't catch as many as you would if you don't have this restriction of it you know making a play from let's call it above VWAP to, to below VWAP but uh, when it does do that it it has pretty good success I found so what I did here uh, obviously I uh, <clears throat> as soon as it punched through I went short and um, I kept my money on the table until I look I was looking at the five minute until it came down to uh, this moving average and I took some money off the table. Um, I'm not 100% if I was trading my P&L on that one, but uh, I wasn't on this on this sellout. I thought that uh, 105 was gonna be a, a very strong support and it turns out that it was. You can see it just bounced right back off from here. And so I'm pretty happy with these these two stages of sellout. Even though uh, I've said I was going to um, keep more of my money on the table, I think that these were appropriate. Um, and I did save like 50% of my uh, shares until you know obviously I got stopped out. I was waiting for it to bounce. I was hopefully it was going to bounce off you up and come lower. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this trade. Um, I did take a stab up here. I didn't uh, follow my rules on this one. I thought it was going to be a false break and going to shoot higher. I was aiming for a uh, high of pre-market. And I thought I had a pretty good risk to reward too. I was you know, using VWAP as my stop loss. And, um, and I, I thought that was a pretty, a pretty solid risk to reward ratio right there. But again, it's, uh, it violated my rules. And even though I did get out for a small stop loss, I still feel guilty for, for not following them. Um, let's see. Next is uh, MU. MU, I, um, I played a reversal. Uh, my reversal strategies are I, I play reversals off the 9 and the 20 EMA on the one minute. And I um, I wait for a candle to, or I try to wait for a candle to open on, you know, between the, the 20 and the VWAP. And if I don't wait for it to exactly open, I, I usually see if it's hovering there for about 30 seconds or so, if it can maintain some sort of level there. Because I've seen way too often uh, these candles just are able to punch right through and then quickly uh, pull back. And so if you're just to play them off the wicks, then uh, you can get chopped up pretty bad. <clears throat> but yeah, so I did, I'm pretty proud of this one too. I, I'm, I'm glad that I uh, sold up VWAP, you know, pretty strong support here. Again, I was playing it off the five, the five minute. So I sold, I always sell some like right before. I never wait till the last five cents because if it decides to bounce off, and you don't, you know, you don't get that last cent. You know, you, you kind of miss out on some profit. So I always sell some right before, and then it's also as soon as it, uh, it it actually hit it, I also took some off the table. And then I'm uh, pretty pretty proud of this aspect of it too. 
Uh, it took about seven minutes of consolidation here. Um, and I, I just didn't like the fact that uh, it wasn't able to punch through these last two candles right here. I, I thought that if it, you know, it was going lower, trending lower, but the fact that it wasn't able to punch through and then this one didn't test it and this one opened up and just started going up, I, I thought it was a bad sign and I saw that these, you know, broke this moving average and it was coming up to these two. Um, so I just decided to, uh, I just decided to uh, get out, and good thing I did because it, you know, went went against me. And then my other trade for the day, which was my um, another rule broken. Um, I, I would this is obviously not a reversal or an ORB was TOL. I saw that Andrew was looking at TOL, and um, I saw he was looking at. I like this pattern on the five minute. You know, the stock comes up. Then comes crashing down, and maybe you can you can hit it for the uh, for the low of the day. Um, I thought it was a good observation, and I, I went in, um, but it just didn't work out. I do like a couple things about this trade, though. I do like the uh, the tight stop loss I had here on, on both of these. This one could have been a little bit better, but I think I got a bad fill here, and um, I did like that the fact that uh, I held on to my. Uh, to my shares, even though it did go a little bit in my direction, I I like the one of my goals. Obviously, I've said is to hold on to it and um, let it run to my profit target. So I'm I'm happy with this trade, even though it didn't work out. And that's it for me today, guys. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching.